On this week's episode of Spotlight on Tri-Cities, we're down here at Tri-Cities Tap and Barrel. We're gonna sit down with Jason and Kendra. We're gonna talk to them about beer, wine, and pickled grapes. So let's get in and get to it. As one of Tri-Cities' busiest realtors, I'm always finding new businesses, trying new restaurants, and discovering new things about our corner of Eastern Washington. I'm here to share those with you. My name is Brett Baker, owner of the Baker Team, and this is Spotlight on Tri-Cities. So we're down here at Tap and Barrel. So talk to me about the story of your business. Kendra and I worked together at a winery for quite some time. Sure. And when we moved on from that, we kind of got together and started kind of developing this concept. Okay. It kind of started with the wine and motion machines and the whole idea of self-service uh, wine. Okay. And allowing the consumer to come in and really kind of just have a self-guided experience with wine. Right. We have great wines here in Washington. Correct. And industry is very strong, but we wanted to add something to that and so have the ability to, yeah, experience Washington wine, but as well old world and new world and other domestic wines as well, right? And the machines really allow us to do that. Okay. And then the other part that became a very kind of strong driver in all that was to try to bring some kind of an urban casual feel, feel to the Tri-Cities. That went into kind of the design of the place and the way that we set it up and to try to create that feel. Right. Yeah, so how many bottles do you normally have at a given time? We have 56 bottles available by the one ounce pour okay. uh, for a taste, a three ounce half glass, or a five ounce full pour. And what's great about it is you have bottles that, like we were talking about earlier, you're you're talking about bottles that you normally can't even get wine by the glass. Correct. And so you're you're able to do that, which is really cool. So you get to try wines that you normally are gonna go, I don't wanna spend hundred dollars a bottle, but I will absolutely pay by the glass. Exactly. Or even up to three hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. You have an opportunity here to have a glass or even just a taste. If it's a, a wine you've always wanted to taste but never were really quite willing to spend that yeah. coin on a bottle like that, right. you can come in and have a taste of it. So That's great. Experience. I'm a beer guy, so talk to me about the beer. Beer is actually kind of picked up more than I think we expected, and yeah. now is probably our biggest focus, okay. um, because now we're trying to get these breweries that are small, you know, craft, Northwest right. um, breweries that nobody can get, such as like Urban Family and Scoopum, who yeah. don't even distribute, who are gracious enough to give us some beer so right. that we can pour it here. It's just been really fun. And now you said something about self-pour on the beer. I, I bartended at beer. one point, so it's like reminiscing. Yep. You can pour your own beer. Yes, you can. That yeah. is so cool. Yep, you get a card, load it up like a gift card, sure. so however dollar amount you want, and then you just swipe your card, pour your beer, it reduces it by how much you drink. Okay. Yeah. And then you do food as well. We have a tapas style menu. Okay. Um, although you certainly put together a significant meal. We don't have a fryer, we don't have a flat top, we don't have a grill, we don't have a hood. Okay. So in consciously making that choice and to exclude those things from our kitchen, it caused us to have to really come up with these fresher right. kind of ideas for food plates. Right. So it's a little healthier, it's not your typical bar food. Which is great. We like to say that we're not a restaurant without all or a bar with great food. So basically, for it doesn't matter if you're a wine lover or a beer lover, you've really got something for everybody. We try. That's <laughs> really cool. That's really, really cool. Do you have a website, or how can someone get a hold of you? Yeah, uh, www.tricetheestapparel.com. Perfect. Or our Facebook and Instagram okay. is always showing what we've got going on for specials. Okay. Um, happy hour from Monday to Friday. Sure. So four to six. Okay. Yeah. And hours of operation? Um, we're open daily, 11 to 10, Sunday through Wednesday, Thursday okay. through Saturday, until 11 o'clock, or okay. until the party stops. I like that. That's, <laughs> that's great. That's great. So where are you guys located? Off King and Gage, right next to uh, Albertsons and Starbucks. Okay. Yeah. Super centrally located. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I really appreciate it. And for uh, let's uh, let's go see what there are beer and wine wise. All right. Thanks for joining me on yet another episode of Spotlight on Tri Cities. If you own a local Tri Cities business and would like to be featured on a future episode, reach out to us online, spotlightontricities.com or facebook.com forward slash Spotlight on Tri Cities. Now, I'm going to go enjoy a beer. We'll see you next episode. So you came up with all of this? Yeah. Yeah, I You're didn't know incredible. That you were amazing.